Hello? Hello, Danielle? Yes. Hey, this is Gary. I'm over at the uh, portrait studio. You had some pictures done today? Yes. And uh, those, those are your kids, correct? Yes. And did you, you had Lisa? Did she, is she the one that took your order? I don't think so. Oh, okay. Yeah, everyone's new here right now. They, they forgot to tell you because I was looking at these photos. They say they didn't try and upsell you on anything. And I noticed that your kids look really overweight. And did you know we have a discount on diet pills here at the store? I'm sorry. Those are not my kids because my kids are not overweight. Oh, no, no. I have they, a five-year-old and a seven-month-old. Yeah, well, you know, not not obese exactly, but, you know, looking pretty chubby. And um, I think this phone call is absolutely ridiculous. Why would you call somebody and, and say that? Well, just because we have we, we sell uh, all kinds of uh, diet supplements and diet pills. Uh, we have a whole selection right. of, of diet products. And it's okay. That's great. I don't think you're looking at pictures of my kids because they're not even a little overweight. Yeah, they kind of are. I mean, it's your order. It says Danielle. Oh, my God. Where's your manager? I want to talk to the manager. It it says Danielle right here on the order form. It's definitely your kids. I don't give a shit. Oh, don't curse at me, ma'am. Give me your manager. The manager, he's he's not available right now. Okay, what's his name? But Why why don't you just want to just admit that there's a problem and, you know, maybe buy a few diet pills? Oh, my God. Where is your manager? Give me just, somebody right now. Why? I'm just trying to, to be a salesman here. I don't care. You are rude. That is I'm, unbelievable. I'm not being rude. I'm offering you a product that you clearly need. Give me a store manager or somebody. The manager's in a bad mood, and I'm not going to go talk to him right now because he, he he's on the warpath, you know? Yeah, I would say so if he's got people like you working for him. What, a good salesman? You think he'd he'd be angry to have a good salesman working for him? Yes, I do. Well, at least he doesn't have fat kids. Oh, my God. What was your name? Uh, It's, um, uh, let's see, it's David. Broadcasting from the PLA Situation Room in Roy, New Mexico, you're listening to The Snowplow Show. Now it's time. Cactus. 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 I'll make you think, stupid. Cactus. 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 Get off the phone. Cactus. 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 This cocksucker. Cactus. 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 You've got to be crap on my ball. Cactus. 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 I think this call is a hoax. Cactus. 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 calling me a hobo. Cactus. 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 Roy the retarded boy. Cactus. 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 How about if I come down and punch your head off? Cactus. 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 You blowing smoke up my ass. Cactus. 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 Get out this fucking phone. Leave me alone. This is RBCP, and you're listening to The Snowplow Show for May 18th, 2016. Today's show is sponsored by Bobo Bob the Hobo Bob, quite possibly the best sponsor name we've ever had. Thanks, Bobo Bob the Hobo Bob. Remember in the last show when I was calling all those school teachers and I had an Excel file of all the calls that were, you know, incoming calls at that number, and I was spoofing that number when I made my calls. So I made more calls come in, and the person who submitted the list to me, they sent me a screenshot of a call about me. And I'm going to read the description here. Uh, It says, Caller states that he called the school district, put in a resign letter, and when he got a call back from a guy named Roy, he states that Roy threatened him for putting his resign letter in and threatened his life. He wanted to speak to someone in higher authority and get information on a guy named Roy. So that's pretty great. I have my very own entry in their Excel file. And he's referring to a call that I deleted from the final show on the last show where I threatened a bunch of teachers' lives. You know, like I usually do in prank calls, always threatening lives and stuff. Yep, that's me. I don't know why people always have to lie and say I threatened them. Which I think you're going to hear some of that today and near the end of the show. uh, Another person I called says I threatened their life or I threatened them or something. I don't remember. You'll see when we get there. Uh, Earlier today, I did a live show on the air where I called two different lists because the first one, not enough people were picking up, but they were both kind of fun to do, and I'm going to play those soon. First of all, I want to say thank you to everyone who's been editing the wiki page at phonelosers.org slash wiki. A few people have been in there making updates, and some of them have been useful updates. 
such as this guy named Accomplished Perfect Detective Alias, Best Alias Ever, and he or she has been uh, doing a bunch of write-ups on all the episodes. And then someone named Avaliva, they've been doing some updates on the wiki, I think. And it's almost funnier to read people's write-ups of the shows than just listening to the shows because they sound so completely insane. Such as this one by uh, the, that guy, Accomplished Perfect Detective Alias. Uh, he did a write-up of the July 27th, 2013 episode of The Snowplow Show. It was called Yo Holmes to Bel Air. And I don't know, like, uh, the, the, like one of the very last entries in this one. RBCP calls Sally because of his discovery of a lost city under their neighborhood. Sally says an old army general used to own their house, so maybe it's his network of underground bunkers, fallout shelters within a lost city that he left behind. Then Douglas is attacked a lot by an army of killer robots that protect the lost city. That sounds awesome, and I kind of want to listen to that one right now. But I won't. I have shit to do here. Um, But anyway, thank you, everyone, who's been um, adding things to the Wikipedia page. If any of you would like to go be contributors to the wiki project for the Phone Losers, it is phonelosers.org slash wiki. That's W-I-K-I. And you just go there and sign up for an account, and you can edit pages on the wiki. In one of the entries on the wiki from 2013 that somebody updated this week, I was talking about the new wiki that I just set up. Apparently I was excited about the wiki back then too, but, um, you know, that just didn't work out. So basically these shows never change. I talk about all the same stuff year by year. Next year I'll probably be talking about some brand new wiki I set up and I'll be super excited about it, try and get you all involved, and then I'll give up. But no, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to give up this time. This time the wiki's going to stay and it's going to be amazing. Okay, now that I've cast a bunch of doubts into everyone's minds, let's get started with the live show. Here it is. Hi everyone. We're going to do a show today, a very short show, probably just an hour. Um, I've got a, a suggestion, I mean an email, a submission thingy. Um, Renee White feels all tingly and excited. Don't we all? Um, let's see. I have a submission. I don't know. I don't know if I'm supposed to say this guy's name. I think next time he submits something, he should let me know. But this is the guy who has sent me lots of different petitions (laughs) and, um, you know, sidewalk petitions and just random things. Uh, he says, Hey Brad, here are some scans of petition pages for for some condo association that doesn't want to let hobos rent their rental properties. What? Uh, the first page is a brief overview, followed by three full signed petition pages, followed by the associ- associates permit application. You guys don't care about all this. Let me just click on the PDF. Oh, and he gives me the numbers to like the city clerk, the city manager, the city engineer. So I picked one of those, and that's my caller ID for today's show. Um, Okay, I'm going to read the top of this petition. Ah, shit. This is a really bad copy. It's hard to read. We, um, let's see. We, the undersigned, are deeply concerned resident slash owners of the city of Marquette. Requests that the Marquette City Commission adhere to the original language as stated in planned unit development. That's what PUD stands for. Um, Okay, here's their thing. The recorded condominium master deed shall specify that all homes are to be owner-occupied. So that's their problem. They don't want renters in their condos. They want owners in their condos because renters are dirty hobo people. Bunch of gypsies. Who else would rent rent a, a thing? Okay, so the first number we absolutely cannot call because, wow, that, that handwriting. So I'm going to cross that one out. Second one is Joanne. It even has her address on here. Let's see if Joanne answers. Here we go. Ah, the fuck. number you have reached has been disconnected or is no longer... Welcome to the live show, everyone, <laughs> where everything's disconnected and phones just ring. Um, let me see, what's the date on these? This is about a uh, little, uh, like, three weeks ago that everyone signed this petition. Uh, I think this lady's name is Mimi. Mimi, Mimi. <laughs> Hello? Hello, Mimi? 
Hi, this is Douglas from the city of Marquette. And uh, I'm just calling about this petition you signed about the uh, the condominiums. Oh, yes. Yep. Um, so who do you think you are telling us what to do? Pardon? Who do you think you are telling us what to do? What is your name, Douglas? What is my name, Douglas? Yes, Douglas, what is your last name? Oh, okay. Uh, it's um, Gerbel. And you're calling from the city of Marquette? Yeah, yeah. I was just, uh, I'm going over this petition and all these signatures because I have to submit them to the state and everything. And uh, I was just wondering, I saw your signature in here and I was just wondering who the fuck do you think you are telling us what to do? I don't think you're call. I don't believe you're calling from the city of Marquette. Why don't you believe me? I don't me? believe you're... What part is not believable? I don't think, I don't think you would talk that way to, to someone. Oh, yes, I would. People that try to interfere with our day-to-day -day operations here. Why wouldn't I? Huh? Huh? Ma'am? Mimi? Me, 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 me? Me, 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 me. That was creepy. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm going to give everyone nightmares. It's Carlito's thing, you guys. He always says, me, 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 me. I don't know why. I think that's his imitation of a Chinese person or something. Okay, page one is finished, you guys. Page one out of three. Tell them by signing the petition, they become obligated to campaigning for Trump and donating blood to Detroit hospitals. Okay. Hello, is this Mary? Yes. Thank God you answered. Uh, this is Roy from the city of Marquette. I see you signed mm -hmm. a, a petition here about your condo. Uh, I signed a petition for the condo, but I don't own a condo, no. Oh, well then, why are you signing a petition? You don't even own one? Uh, I have a friend who is involved in that, and we discussed the matter, and... It was about renting the condos down, and I did not believe that was a good position to take. Yeah, well, that's nice. You have your, your little opinion there, but, you know, you don't even live here. Who the fuck do you think you are? I'm sorry. I don't think I want to continue this conversation. Why? Because you're wrong? You know you're wrong? You know... Nobody's been answering, so so I just got excited and I, I shot my load all over Mary. <laughs> Let's call her back one more time since she's actually answering. Now she's not going to answer. Whatever. It's okay, because every single one of the next ones I dial, they're all going to pick up. I'm sure of it. Hello? Hello, Edda? Yes. Hi, this is Roy from the City of Marquette. Yes, uh-huh. Hi there. I just Roy I, from this, what this, department? Um, I'm, I'm with the city clerk. Um, I was just saw here that you signed a petition for the uh, the condo. Uh-huh. Um, and it looks like um, you you used a a, a pen with that had invisible ink in it. I did. Yeah. So most of your information has rubbed off. Oh, for you know? goodness' sake! Yeah. I wonder yeah. where I got that pen. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't know. It's definitely uh, invisible ink, though. I can tell because oh. I, I used to use it a lot. Yeah. But oh, for goodness sake. Your signature's still there. So uh -huh. um, I went ahead and... Um, it, did, did you know that uh, by signing the petition, you become obligated to uh, vote for Trump this year for president? By signing that petition? Yes. Uh, it's on, on the top of it. The recorded condominium master um, says that... Sp specify that all homes are to be owner occupied and also that I the undersigned will vote for Donald Trump for president 2000 oh, I didn't see that yeah so uh, you're going to be required to vote for Trump this year can I take that off of there oh no no you've already signed the paper well too bad it wasn't all invisible ink <laughs> I know oh well I mean just your address disappeared I know oh my god uh, you were planning on voting this year right yeah. Okay, great. But not yeah. for Trump. Oh, no, you have to vote for Trump now because you signed this petition. 
and we're going to be checking. Um, you know, they, they let us look at the votes and see who voted for what. And if you don't vote for Trump, we're going to put a lien on your house. Oh, you, you can't do that. Oh, yeah, we can, because the signature, it says that here in the petition. Really? Yep, it does. If you'd like to come in and look at it, we definitely didn't add this stuff in later after everyone had signed it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yep. You Boy. Just make sure you vote for Trump this year. That's really important. Uh, I, I'm going to have to look at that. Okay, yeah. <laughs> How can they put that kind of stuff on a paper? Oh, um, well, it's just, it's like any other contract, you know? You, you just have yeah. to read what you sign. You can't just sign something blindly. So now you're stuck uh, voting for Trump. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, do you live there at the condominiums? No. Mm-mm. Oh, why? Why are you signing the petition then? Like, what do you care? Well, I I don't want to say. I don't even know for sure who I'm talking oh, to. You know, you, you know, you're busted. Uh, no, this is Roy from the city of Marquette. It right. Just, it just se- it seems weird that uh, I don't know. Why would you even like? Who got you to sign this petition if you don't even live there? Um, what's your last name, Roy? Gerbel. How do you spell that? G H E R Z Q R Y. Y. Yep. And what department are you in? Uh, I'm just here at the city clerk's office. Just one of the city office clerk? workers here. Yeah, city clerk. Yep. Yep. Okay. Well, okay. I'm going to have to figure out what to do. Okay. But really, like, why, why are you just being, you know what? You, you try to be like a busybody about all this and, and, and stick your nose where it doesn't belong. Now look what happened. You got to vote for Trump. Yeah. That's what well, you get. Okay. That's what you get. Yeah. Being so, well, being so nosy. Yeah. Yep. I'm not being nosy. Well, you know, why, why should you sign a paper if you don't even live here? This petition's for oh. for residents. Well, you know, I've got so much happening in this family. I sure don't need this. Thank you for calling. Oh, don't make me feel bad. Come on. Bad, come on. Ah, I try and chew an old lady out, and she just does that. Tries to make you feel bad. That was depressing. Thanks a lot, old lady. Old lady that doesn't even live there. Like, why? why really? Why would these people do this? You like sign a petition for something on the other side of town that doesn't matter to you. Why wants me to just call her back and Hello. scream in the we phone? We're not available now. Please leave your. Just scream at her a few times. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Okay, Dwight. I'm so happy that someone answered and then was really depressing at me. That was the best. I didn't know where to go with the invisible ink, you guys. I, I <laughs> now what? Okay. The next page has lots of very nice handwriting. I think I can call every one of these numbers because the handwriting is acceptable. So, Roxanne. Hello. Hello, Roxanne. Yes. Hi, this is Roy from the city of Marquette. Hi. And, hi there. I saw that you uh, signed this petition for the, the condominiums, uh, you know, about not wanting the renters there. Um... Oh, you didn't do it? Sure. Did somebody sign it for you? I'm not sure what you're talking about. Oh, it's uh, for the condominiums. Uh, they, they didn't want renters staying in their condos. Um, all homes are to be owner-occupied. It looks like you oh, signed this okay. on for... I know, I know what you're talking about now, yes. Sorry. Okay, great. Yeah. So so you, um, you, you, you did sign this then? This is your signature? I did. I okay, did, yes. great. Mm-hmm. Um, I just needed to let you know that... Um, did, did you read the bottom of the petition also? Um, it's been a while. I don't even remember. Okay. I don't we'll just, tell you the truth. You know, by, by signing the petition, um, you've legally given permission for the police to use their home as a, use your home as a staging area for all activity needing their attention. Like, um, they're going to use, like, they're going to use your garage to store things. Okay. And I don't even live around there or anything. So I, I didn't. Well, yeah, it doesn't matter. They, they're just, that one. They're just looking for uh, just random places around the community to to be able to just, um, you know, store equipment and, you know, just kind of stockpile ammunition and things like that. What what are you talking about? 
<laughs> this it's, is bizarre. No, it's it's just a thing we're doing now with the city. We're letting uh, city employees, such as the police and the fire and everything, um, just l- we're going to let them store things in your garage. Well, no, For, thank you. If, no, if there's a fire nearby, they can stop by real quick and grab something. No, I don't want anything in my garage. Well, then why'd you sign this petition that says we're allowed to? Because we're basically allowed to now. I'm not asking permission. I'm just saying that, you know, we're going to start doing this. So we're going to need well, uh, access to your garage. I was... They might need to park uh, city vehicles. Who are, in... who are you? My name My name is Roy with the city of Marquette. They might need to park city vehicles in your driveway. Or maybe just in front of your house if it's more convenient that way. Like ambulances and stuff. And, uh, you know, we've got Roy some, some new... Some Roy new... who? Yes. From What's the, your last name? From the city of Marquette. Roy who? Right. And what's your position there? We, I'm, I'm just an office worker here with the city clerk. Um, like we, we've gotten, okay. we've gotten a brand new, uh, it's like a SWAT vehicle. Uh, it's from Homeland Security and everything. They've been looking for a place to park that. So we might be dropping that by later this week. But we're not leaving the keys. Mm-hmm. So, so you know, it's just there. You're not allowed to touch it or anything. Okay. Um. What is? What was your last name again? Roy. Who? H U. It's Japanese. Okay, and your position at the city is what? I'm an office worker here in the city clerk's office. Okay. Well, why do you care about this? What's this have to do with anything? This is just a really bizarre conversation. I just signed a petition that said that we don't want renters to be um, in a certain area. And then you're telling me that I'm I, that you're parking things in my driveway. Yeah. Well, you also signed a contract. It was a petition, a petition slash contract. That's how they get you. They put the petition on top and then the contract on bottom. Okay. Well, I guess I'll have to call the person that asked me to sign the petition and find out what the deal is so. well that person has no authority probably this is all a city thing this is a city petition so okay yep. well can you send me a copy of that yeah i'll have when the guy drops off the uh the swat vehicle i'll have him bring the paperwork <laughs> yep that's what i'll do uh, i think he's gonna be there probably by friday at least are you home during the day? Okay, thank you. Are you home during the day? Sure. You are? I'm home all the time. Oh, you don't, yeah. have, you don't have a job? You're too lazy to work? What do you do? You just sit around watching soaps? <laughs> she didn't like that. The truth hurts, huh, Roxanne? I was just kind of reading that as I went along, and it's like, permission for the police to use their home as a staging area? What's a staging area? So just where they go to like suit up for uh, riots and stuff? I don't know. I may have modified that idea just a little bit, but uh, thank you, OM, for that idea. For that idea, that was funny. <laughs> she was a little weirded out. There. Now I feel like I can, I can quit the show. I don't have to go on longer or do another idea. I can just quit now. Because that one amused me. Hello. Hello, Lois? Yes. Hi there. This is Roy from the city of Marquette. Yes. And uh, I I see here that you signed this petition about the uh, condominiums and the renters. Oh, yes. Yes. And and, um, you realize it's also a contract, right? Like, did did you read the bottom part about the... uh, Uh, No. No. Yeah, by signing the petition, you volunteered your uh, condo or or your house to uh, for five refugees from Nigeria for the next six months. You're not serious. Oh no, I'm completely serious. It's a new program we're doing. So, um, oh no, do you have no? In extra... fact, I don't have one. I I don't have one. I signed the petition as a friend. Oh, I see. To okay. someone who has a condo. Yeah, but that's okay. It's it's it doesn't matter. Like uh, it just says house or condo or whatever you live in. Do you have a spare bedroom there then? Okay, no, I li- No, I don't. It, all you need I is don't. one spare bedroom or a garage. No, no, okay. I I don't. They're gonna I, have. Um, they're gonna have to set up a tent in your yard then. Oh, are you really? Okay. Yeah, for the refugees. Okay, yeah, okay. 
And I, I just wanted to let you know, though, um, you got to watch out for these these Nigerians because they'll try and scam you. So okay. don't, if, don't believe okay. anything they tell you. Um, you didn't, do, you okay. do need to let, I don't know what you're doing. Okay. No, you need to let them in to use the bathroom, though. But you okay. Don't, you don't All right. have Certainly. to talk to them. <laughs> but if you're a Christian, you probably will. Oh, sure. Because that's, okay. the right, that's the right thing to is, do. This is foolish. Okay. What do you mean Goodbye. it's foolish? You, what, refugees are foolish? Wow, what an attitude. Jeez. That was Dwight's idea. And uh, someone in the chat room's idea. I don't know. (laughs) Hello? Hi there, William? Yes. Hey, William, it's Roy from the city of Marquette. Uh, and yeah, yes, yeah. Um, I see here that you signed this petition for about the about the condominiums uh, not wanting the the renters to live there. Yes, and I just wanted. I, I, what do you mean, not wanting the? Well, it says the petition. Oh, I, I see what you're saying. Uh, not wanting the re- you said renters. Yes, yeah, the renters. Oh, okay. You just want owners yeah. there. Yes, I did. Rental renters are dirty gypsy people. Basically, is what this says. Uh, I just needed to let. What's you- that? What did you just say? I said renters. I'm, pardon me, I you, you broke up a little bit. What, oh, what did you? You broke up. You what did you just say about renters? I said renters are dirty gypsy people. I who, used, who said that? Well, it's in the petition here. But anyway, I'm just. I wanted to let you what, know. What, what do you mean? It's in the petition. Well, it's in the top of the petition. Did you read the petition? Uh, all, I didn't read. I didn't read that for sure. Yeah, all all homes are to be owner occupied. And um, dirty gypsy renter people are not allowed. That's what it says here. Well, I didn't. I didn't sign that. Oh well, no, you signed this one. It has your signature right here. Uh, I just wanted to let you know, though, that it worked. Well, I just don't know. I just don't know how that got on that petition because I did not sign anything that said that. Okay. Well, it doesn't matter. That that part's just uh, you know that's just more. I of an, think an, you're. I think you're just putting that in there. Oh well, uh, no, no. I'm reading from the petition right here. Um, Maybe somebody else typed it in after. I don't know. But no, I'm just calling to, to let you know that it worked. They're not going to have renters there anymore. Well, you're you're not from the city of Marquette to begin with. I can Why do you say obviously that? Obviously tell that. Well, I just that's your whole manner has not at all uh, uh suggested any kind of city employee. Well, because I, I, just because I'm reading a, a contract here verbatim, it says dirty gypsy people right here. Well, I, you may have uh, put that in there, but I didn't that do is it. Not I didn't do shit, not, motherfucker. I did not I, do shit. Well, no. I did not. I certainly signed that petition. So, oh, you uh, did too. You're, it's right here. You have it's ninety. Yeah, well, I'm it has your I'm address. Sorry, I I don't know what your um. I don't know what your game is, but well, you haven't you, let me say it yet. I mean, you, you keep well, interrupting yes, you me. You have. I mean, you have. You, oh, you have not even. No, I haven't even uh, got to the point yet. You, you've used you've used uh, very uh, unpleasant language toward me, and and. Uh, Do you want to hear I, why, why I'm calling? I, I'm sorry. I'm going to terminate this conversation. Good motherfucker. Hang up. See if I care. I'm not going to call him back. I mean, it's it seems kind of pointless. He's just not going to let me talk. I didn't even get my punchline in there. Jeez. All right. There's only four left, you guys. There's four numbers left. They all have good handwriting. I can call all four of them. Hi, you've reached Lindsay Jurisic. Sorry, I was unable to take your Jeez. call. Please Jeez. leave me a message after the tone. Thank you. Okay. No answer from Lindsay. Wish they would have had him put work and cell numbers on this petition. That would have been nice. Damn it, I like the ideas and I can't do them. It sucks. Alright, last one on the list. This is Karen Anderson. Please leave a message. (sighs) Alright. That's it. Let me see what the next page says. meeting minutes it was moved by mayor uh, we don't want to listen to all this 
approval of the agenda, announcements, boards, and committees. I really wanted to do Nathan's idea, where uh, I said the petition worked, and now the renters are homeless. You have to work in the soup kitchen. <laughs> that would have been great. But, um, yeah, nobody answered on this one. So, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to play a song while I search through my um, submission stuff. I'm going to find the shortest list possible. Maybe do another 20 minutes or so and then quit. Uh, somebody in the chat room said they like pink and purple, so that's what you get. Hey, you big bones! You bozos! We need a sports theme song quick! Yeah! Yeah! Get on that microphone and show them what we're all about! Yeah! I put it down for my favorite sports team. Pink and purple, pink and purple, pink and purple, pink and purple. South Lake Hills unicorns are in the building. Pink and purple, pink Slam dunk Super Bowl fans all streaming. Pink and purple, pink and purple, pink and purple, pink and purple. Pink and purple. Yeah. Two hues you see when light reflects from a white light. Pink and purple, pink and purple, pink and motherfucking purple. Pink blood, yeah. purple veins. Uh. I open up the sports theater with the curtain flames. It's Carl Winslow, y'all brought the Earth game. Mess with those Lake Hills unicorns and certain pain. Helmet on tight, still gonna hurt your brain. Here to assert the game. Hey, Crimson. So, uh, just wanted to cover a few things real quick. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah real, real quick. In, in the two-minute voicemail you just left me. That's real quick. True store complainer. Awesome show. Awesome show. It was so great to get some of the reactions. I keep listening to uh, Trick Ass Ho. And, uh, I wish I had more of those. Angry, old, incredibly angry uh, old man rides a motorcycle. Those two calls are freaking awesome. Lazy woman's pretty good. Thanks. Um, Anyway, that was pretty good. Uh, the other thing is, don't feel too bad about the uh, uh, auto shop repair calls. It was they were, they were kind of too bad episodes, but it's not your fault. I, you know what I, I think it is? I actually used to live in that area in the Midwest Whatever. where you were calling. I just recognized some of the city names. And I think it's such a small town area and people are like just so laid back there. That they're just like, oh, whatever, I'll just call down there. And okay, we'll, well you've had your minute of voicemail time. I'm sorry to cut you off, but I'm not really sorry. I don't want to play two minutes of someone's voicemail. God damn it. The outgoing message says, keep your voicemails 30 seconds to a minute. Who do you think you are taking up two minutes? Hey, Brad, it's Battle Boner again. Hey, Battle Boner. And, uh, holy fuck. Thanks for leaving a 21-second message like a normal person. Dude, I've been reading your book, and that shit's fucking interesting. Um, ah, man, I'm glad you believe it all. Yeah, whatever. Love your show. I'm going to try to buy a physical copy of your book when I get a job and have some money and shit, but now I've been reading the PDF. All right, keep it up. Love you, Brad. Hey, Roy, it's um, it's Steve from Connecticut. <laughs> yeah, How that doesn't doing? sound made up at all. I have a quick question. I would like to know where I can get a job application to work in the Situation Room. Oh, okay, Steve. You always say, like, there's no one in the Situation Room currently, so... I would like to be that guy. Thanks, bye. It's not that there's nobody in the situation room, it's just that I don't let them pick up the phone. Because then I wouldn't be able to play the voicemails if they picked up the phone. Why would I want to do that? So, sorry Steve, if that is your real name. We're not currently hiring here at the situation room. Hey Roy, how you doing? This is Pat Turtapoo. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I just I got a couple ideas on maybe for a future show. Oh yeah. should probably uh, do something touching up on these... Uh, these here bathroom laws coming up. You, maybe you could call different department stores and have all kinds of fun, fun little things happen. Yeah. Like, like today, for example, you know, I think, you know, they should probably make a bridge from the girls' bathroom to the boys' bathroom. So maybe just in case I change my identification while I'm standing or sitting or maybe both, it's something to think about. Just want to get sure your thoughts on that. Yeah, best idea ever. Just open the bathrooms all up. Just knock out the walls in between. 
What are we segregating people for anyway? That's silly. Hi, man. I I made a prank phone call to someone on Facebook that was saying that Comcast sucks. Oh, they deserved it then. I pretended to be Comcast, and I um I told them that there was going to be a tech coming out today, and I waited their first month of fees. Oh. I don't think it was very funny, but I was trying to get someone to listen to it. Couldn't it was, get anyone. It was, it was nice of you to, to waive their fees at least. So you know that's that's a good thing. So I probably don't want to listen to it either. So I ain't gonna tell you where it is. Yeah, yeah, I, I probably would have hated you know, it. You kind of inspired me there with your humor. That's not very funny, and so yeah. Hey, okay. what? Well, good luck then. Bye. Okay, thanks. You know the best part about that voicemail is that the caller ID. I just happened to recognize the number. It's the number to Comcast. He left that message from Comcast's phone number. Hey, Brad. It's Colton. Um, hey. This is my first time calling into the voice and I just wanted to say I'm so excited to get your book. I ordered it, the PLA book. Ah, I'm sucker. Excited. Keep up the good work. I love listening to your shows, and that's it. Bye. Great. Thanks. I hope you enjoy the book, How to Lose Weight, the Brad Carter Way. It's a New York Times bestseller, you know. Brad Carter, you beautiful bastard. Dr. Smoothrod here. Hey, anyway, in your latest show, you tried to reach out. Dr. Smoothrod with a two-minute message. When you're calling up the teachers at some school district, pretending mm-hmm. to be from HR, uh, one of the teachers, I guess, or someone was deaf, and so you reached an interpreter twice. Um, yup. And then left a horrible message for her. Anyway, and you were you were curious about how all that worked, so I, I can explain if you're interested. If not, just uh, okay. Up. Uh, my dad is deaf and has cerebral palsy, so he actually uses that same service, Sonson VRS. My uh, mom actually used to work for them as well as an interpreter. Uh, they're not the interpreters are not allowed to talk to you; they can only interpret. Yep, she did it uh, anyway. My dad's though disabled. She, she she told me the phone was ringing. She talked to me. She broke the rules. He cannot use his hands very well, so he has to. Uh, so like texting and email isn't. Uh, is as effective of communication as sign language. So when you speak to the interpreter, they actually have a video phone set up in the colleague's house that uh, see. has okay. lights that flash so the deaf person can hear it. Yep. Then they go and pick up, and they video chat with the interpreter who you speak to. The interpreter signs to the deaf person and so on and so forth. It's actually pretty interesting. Uh, if you want to know more, which I doubt it, but, you know. Yeah. It's interesting to me, but you told me enough. probably not to other people. But uh, I could send you an email or something. But uh, anyway, I thought I'd let you know it was cool. I actually know something that I can tell you about. Yay, Also, you. you got mentioned on Distorted View. So shout out to the listener who did that. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah, that was yeah. El Hombre. He was name dropping me on the Distorted View show. Listed out, Tim listed out your website and everything. Yep. Okay, sorry for such a long message, but it was cool, right? I love this, you, Brad. It's all right. Bye-bye. I guess. Could have been better. What I'm curious about, though, is that there is an actual video answering machine. Is is it just a computer, or is it an actual um, hardware device? Like, she actually left a sign language video message, right? How did she do that? If there's hardware involved, you should send me pictures. But if it's just a laptop, I don't really give a shit. But that is pretty interesting. I didn't know they had video phones for sign language. I guess I just assumed that deaf people would be texting. Stupid me and my stupid assumptions. Hey Brad, FOD87. Just wanted to tell you your last show with the teachers was fucking awesome. Uh, They make way too much money and it's awesome to fuck with them. Yeah. And also... Those teachers, they're they're fucking rich, aren't they? My screen credit for the Radio Shack Flip All the Switches prank on YouTube. Uh, You definitely need to do more of those calls. Flip All the Switches, it's totally funny. Especially if it would be done at, like, I don't know, a gym or a hospital, you know. <laughs> one, two, three, one. Oh, 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 crap. I, I guess we lost FOD87. He must have been on a cordless phone. Yeah, we should trick some nurses into shutting off uh, life support equipment or something. Be like, yeah, this is the corporate office. We're going to test some new safeguards that we set up. Just need you to push a few buttons there. I'm going to add that to my list of ways to kill people by telephone. All right, that's enough of the voicemails for today. I think we should get back into the show. But first, I should tell you that you should be supporting the show. Why aren't you supporting the show, you cheap bastards? If you enjoy these shows and you enjoy the things that you hear and it entertains you and all that stuff, you should support the show by going to phonelosers.com slash cactus. 
and signing up for a monthly fee. It's only $5 a month. And for $5 a month, you get access to the video versions of the shows and the secret shows, which I haven't even done one this year. What's wrong with me? Why don't I ever do secret shows to entice you people? I need to do a secret show soon, you guys. And, you know, you just kind of get a a nice feeling inside for helping support the show and making more things happen around here. Uh, You can also go to patreon.com slash phone losers and support the show through there on patreon you can you can donate like nothing you can donate five cents per month or a dollar per month which still helps the show a lot you just don't get any rewards for that it is very much appreciated thank you everyone who's been supporting the show if you can't support the show with money then the best thing to do is to advertise this show as much as you possibly can you know just post it all over the internet and bug your friends and family to listen to the show We need to hurry the fuck up and make this show as huge as possible. And by the way, speaking of all this, I just really need to thank you guys, uh, all of the listeners, for just all of the stuff you do for this show. Like, all the numbers that you guys send. These shows would not be that cool if you guys were not sending me these crazy lists of numbers. Like, if I was just doing this all by myself, I don't think I would think to call ballerinas, which I'm getting ready to do in the next segment of the show. I'm going to be calling uh, Mothers of Ballerinas. And then, of course, the segment that you just heard of the show, the the thing where the, the condominiums not wanting the renters to move in. Even though I didn't get a lot of answers, but I probably never would have thought to call, you know, uh, petition lists that you find on the internet by searching for PDFs or however this guy does that. So thank you, everyone, who sent in submissions to the show. I wish I could do all of the submissions, but there's a lot of them. And it's kind of hard to get to them all. You know, maybe uh, once I start doing this full time, then, then I can get to all of the pranks. I can get to all of the submissions. But for now, I just can't do it. But I do really appreciate everyone that sends stuff in, especially the giant lists. That makes it really easy to do, uh, you know, live shows during the day. And then, of course, there's the chat room. You know, I, I, I sit there and I watch the chat room whenever I do these live shows, and I just steal ideas from the chat room the entire show. And the chat room comes up with really funny ideas that I would never think of to say myself. So basically, all of you listeners who are, you know, interactive and you help me out with things, I really appreciate you guys. You guys are the best. And I hope you all realize that this show would just suck if you guys weren't around giving me ideas and phone numbers and stuff like that. I know I've said this a lot before, but I think I'm more entertained than you guys when I'm watching the chat room because you're, you're saying just the most hilarious things ever in the chat room. Even if I can't use the ideas because they kind of cross a line for me, I'm silently laughing at all your inappropriate ideas that you paste in the chat room. I think instead of calling you all listeners, I should credit you all as producers or something because... You know, you're making the prank calls happen with your your support, your your money, your advertising for me, giving me numbers to prank, and then giving me the ideas to say to the numbers that you give me to prank. Basically, I'm your puppet. That's what it is. I'm a puppet. I have no thoughts of my own anymore. You guys just do all the work for me. Why the hell am I even here? I'm basically disposable at this point. I'm pretty sure I could easily just be replaced. You know, like in Mystery Science Theater 3000 when they replaced Mike with Joel. Or wait, no, Joel with Mike, I don't know. Or in Bewitched, when they replace Dick with Dick. I probably shouldn't be saying these things, I'm gonna give you guys ideas or something. There's gonna be a mutiny, I don't want that, so I'm gonna shut up now, and I'm gonna play the second part of the show, but just know, I love every one of you, you guys are the best, thank you for making my show happen, and and, and I think I'm gonna cry now, so I, I, I need to stop talking and play the show. So, here's the second segment, guys. All right, I think I have a good list, you guys, possibly. This is from Incognito. This is a list uh, from a YMCA. It's a sign-up sheet that is taped to a wall, and there are um, four pages of numbers, but, you know, not full pages, just a few numbers per page. And what this is, I'll read the first page. Uh, The first page, Barbara something photography. Uh, Name, um, it's it's, uh, portraits. I'm assuming for kids... Oh, wait, wait, he, he, he told me. Attached are some pics that I took of a sign-up sheet at the YMCA where parents are scheduling to have pictures made of their children before their ballet recital this Saturday, May 21st, which is at the Community College Theater Hall. So I don't know. Uh, let's, let's, just, uh, let's just start calling these numbers and see what happens. Uh, if, if you have suggestions, try to keep them... Not too creepy, because, you know, 
ballet and all that. We don't want to scare the shit out of parents. As hilarious as that is. Oh, geez. And it has the kids' names. It doesn't have the parents' names on this list. Gracie, Haley, McKinty, Abby. It's, all right. All right. Let's do this. I, I have a feeling this is going to just turn out really bad in the end. But we'll see. I'm using the, uh, the YMCA's phone number as my caller ID. It has their last name, so I can just ask for Mrs. Whatever. <sighs> no, I'm not going to tell them their daughter's too fat and needs to be an anorexic. Uh, actually, um, Incognito gave me some ideas. Oh, cra the first idea involves pornography. Thanks, Incognito. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voicemail. Uh, I like one of these ideas, though. This is really good. Uh, one of his ideas says the, uh, the, the kids need to learn a gang sign because the portraits are going to be Compton-themed. This year's theme is straight out of Compton. That's what I'm going to say. And why aren't these people answering? I know they don't have jobs. They're mothers. Moms don't have jobs. Hello. Hi, Mrs. Wilkie. Yes. This, this is Dave from the YMCA. I see you signed up for some uh, photos here. Uh, yeah. The, the ballet photos. Uh huh. And uh, I just needed to let you know. Um, we're we're gonna be doing those soon. Um, do, does your daughter know any gang signs? Because uh, this year's theme is uh, straight out of Compton. It's like a Compton. It's a we're doing a themed thing for ballet this year. Hello. We're doing a what? We're doing like a, a theme, <laughs> like a, a gang gang sign theme. You know, like gangsta. Like in a bunch of gangs. Who is this? I, I'm. This is Roy is from this? the YMCA. I'm just calling about the photos we're going to be doing. But um, we we need to make sure that that you guys are ready and uh, your daughter knows the ga the gang signs. Okay, so this this has got. Uh, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Gang signs. You know what a gang sign is, where you hold up your fingers all weird like. Um. No, but those photos are not what she's doing. So. Oh no, no, you have to because this year it's the theme. It's the straight out of Compton theme. You know. You know. No, I don't know. Okay, why are you being so weird yeah. and quiet? I'm just calling to ask about your photos. Just got to get this all set up. <laughs> yeah, where are the photos being taken at? Well, they're going to be at the YMCA. And um, we're okay. going to do a thing so, where, where there's going to be an easy e hologram next to next to your kids. Okay, bye. It's, it's going to be amazing. <laughs> I think that was possibly Dark Stranger that, that said that about the easy e hologram. <laughs> she didn't like that. Um, <laughs> well, I don't know if they took the photos yet. Okay. It's a sign-up sheet. Parents are scheduling to have the pictures made. Um, oh, she was asking me where it's going to be at because it's actually at the Community College Theater. Silly me. Uh, and it's going to be this Saturday. Um, what's the date? Oh, it's going to be in three days is when these pictures are going to happen. Anyway, uh, let me call the next person on the list. I'll try to remember all that that stuff. Oh, I see. There's a time next to their... Hello? Hi, Mrs. Brown? Yes. Hey there, this is Roy from the YMCA. I'm just calling about your um, ballet photos you're going to get done on Saturday. Uh-huh. And um, just needed to make sure uh, that you um, that your daughter knows gang signs. Because we're doing a Compton-themed you know, photos this year for the ballet recital. She needs to do what? She needs to know gang signs. You know how to throw up a gang sign? You use your, okay. your hands and you contort your fingers all wacky-like. It's what the kids are doing these days. Um, they're doing gangs. Oh, well, she's five. Well, yeah, I know that. I'm not stupid. <laughs> no, I'm just saying that it, that's the theme this year. You know, it's going to be cute. It's going to be a bunch of five-year-olds that are like gangsters and they've... You know, they've killed people and, and done crimes and stuff. It's the theme. It's fun. It's just fun. Okay. And uh, Ice Cube's going to be there. Okay. You know who Ice Cube is, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah, your daughter probably knows. 
But um, do you know gang signs? Can you guys maybe do some YouTube searching and just get all prepared for Saturday? Sure, I can. Okay. You're gonna you're okay with this, right? It seems like you're giving me attitude. Well, no, I feel like I'm getting attitude from you, which well, is not very professional if you're calling from Yacht Photography. Well, I was very professional at first, but then you, you started giving attitude to me. And, you know, if you don't like this whole gang sign theme, you're a racist. Ma'am? Mrs. Brown? Ah, oh, that's true. Mrs. Brown, I need to warn you that uh, don't do the gang signs like when you're driving around. Cause, oh, whoa, what's happening? What's happening? Oh, she hung up and then... Okay. Ah. So she clicked over. She was on the other line. And then, then my call rang back. And she hung up on it. All right. Last one on this page is Mrs. Haberson. Shave their child's head for, for the photo shoot. This is Becky. Honor. Happy <sighs> We're sorry we can't come to the phone right now, so leave your name and number in a brief message, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you. At the tone. Fucking kids. I just want to punch them in the face and call them back. Wasn't that cute, you guys? Wasn't that just adorable? Teardrop temporary tattoos. This is Becky. All right, okay, all right. Okay, next page. Looks like we have just three phone numbers for some reason. Oh, I see why, because there's, there's times over on the left, so they're signing up for different times. That's what it is. I'm glad I realized these were, uh, you know, little kid names, so I'm not calling up and asking for their daughters. <laughs> Hi, is Sophie there? Can I talk to her? Hi, this is Missy. Sorry I missed your call. Leave me a message. <laughs> Missy, and she missed the call. <laughs> that was great. These would be fun to call them after the photos were done. Say wacky things to them then. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message. Tell them there was a ghost in the photo or something. Hello? Hey there, is this Mrs. Um, oh, I'm sorry, Mrs. Sally? Yes. Uh, this is Roy from the YMCA. I'm just calling about the photo shoot that you've got scheduled for Saturday. Okay, yes. And uh, I just needed to let you know we're doing kind of a, a theme this year with all the photos, with all the ballet photos. Oh. Uh-huh. And your daughter is going to need to shave her head or um, <laughs> maybe, maybe get one of those bald wigs. Okay. Yep. And she's going to have to know how to do gang signs. All right. Uh, we're doing like a Compton theme this year. I see. Yep. So she has to know how to throw up gang signs. We need to know she. if you guys could like look on YouTube maybe and uh, just learn uh -huh. three random gang signs, you know, like West Side. Okay. Or, yeah, anything. Anything works. All right. Um, can Is that your kid in the background there? Uh huh. Can you tell her to shut the fuck up? Because, you know, we're trying to talk. Uh, I think she hung up so she could go tell her to shut the fuck up. Hello. Oh, hey there. Is this Mrs. Odom? This is Miss Hill. Oh, well, close enough. This is Roy from the YMCA. I'm calling about your uh, photos you've got scheduled on Saturday. Yes. And I just had a question for you. Okay. Um, I was just thinking, uh, we need to have more diversity on stage. And would you be against painting your kid in uh, black blackface for the photos? Yes, I would. I'm not going to do that. Why not? Just for more diversity, because we don't have a lot of diversity here. We're trying to just... I don't you know, know who you are. It doesn't look like the wife's phone number, and I don't. You can call all you want to. My child is going to appear as themselves. Well, come. Are you being racist? Is that what it is? No, my child is going to be herself. Well, it sounds like herself is to be a racist. It's not, and I, I do not call this phone number ever again. Well, you said a minute ago I could call as much as I want. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
what a horrible suggestion. I didn't even see that until I, I was reading it and saying it at the same time. That was a bad idea. <laughs> that was awesome, though. We have two more pages, you guys. And then the show is over. The show's gonna be over within 15 minutes. So be prepared for that. Don't don't hate me when I say it's time to go. Alright, let me, let me read his ideas up here before I... Uh, tell him you can't schedule that time because you're busy taking pornography photos. <laughs> like in the other room or something. You don't want the kids running into any sketchy people. <laughs> if a guy answers, tell him to stop winking at the elementary school aged girls when he's in here. Tell them that their kid is too skinny and they need to feed her better. Uh, t <laughs> uh, t <laughs> that would be kind of funny. Uh, tell them that their kid is dancing too sexy. Tell them you're a sex offender and calling every parent to let them know <laughs> you're going to be at the recital. You know, I'm required by law to let them know that I'm a registered sex offender. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, their kid wiped a booger on the dance mat and you need them to buy some disinfectant. Uh, try to sell the parents a YMCA membership. They already have one. Offer massage services. Tell the parents their kid <laughs> clogged the toilet with a massive poop, and uh, offer seductive dancing lessons for the kids. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna do pretty much none of that stuff. <laughs> All right, here we go. First one on the list. Hello. Hi, Mrs. Ray. Yes. Hey there, this is Roy from the YMCA. I'm just calling about your uh, photos. Yes. You, you scheduled some photos here for 2.30 on Saturday. Yes. And uh, I just needed to find out, um, we're trying to get, we're trying to do, uh, trying to have more diversity with all the ballerina photos. I was wondering if you'd um, be against maybe putting your daughter in blackface. Where she, where it's black and white? No, no, blackface. You know, like so she looks like she's a black girl. Mm -hmm. I prefer just to have her picture. Oh, you don't want to just do the blackface? You know, just like maybe shoe polish her face and arms and hands and stuff. It's just for more diversity. We're just trying to have more diversity. We don't have a lot of diversity in the city we want to just we don't we don't want to give the impression oh man i was i was in the middle of talking she just hung right up on me <laughs> why would she do that your call has been oh. forwarded to an automatic voice message system damn it such an insane thing to ask them for <laughs> uh you're right racist confirmed i should have left that on her voicemail we suspect you're we suspected you were racist but now we know for sure. All right. Okay. Okay. Something that's <laughs> not racist and 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 not not perverted. Uh, let's see. Their kid's too skinny. <laughs> uh, someone. Th no, no, never mind. I'm not saying that. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna call this number. Let's see what the chat room can give me. Please enjoy this Verizon ring back tone while your party is reached. Ah, I'm just going to set off the YouTube copyright shit. Hello, Mrs. Gray? Hello? Mrs. Gray? Ah, try Please again. Please enjoy this Verizon ring back tone while your party is reached. Sorry to ruin this amazing music for you guys. Hello? Hello? Hello. Who is it? I'm calling from the YMCA. What, what have you got an attitude for? You, you signed up for some photos. I'm at work. Okay. Well, it doesn't mean you have to be all You're weird at me. I'm, I'm just calling about your photos. I'm just calling to confirm. Jeez. <laughs> all right. Let me call right back. Please enjoy this Verizon ring back tone while your party is reached. <laughs> Hello. Hey there. Listen. Are you still listen. at work? <laughs> I didn't have an attitude. I'm on the floor at my job and my phone was 
playing music and it, it automatically answers. Well, maybe, maybe, answer like that. maybe you shouldn't but bring your minute, phone to work, call, stupid. Don't listen to whoever this is. Don't call me with that attitude. Okay. I don't well, care where you're calling you from. You started with don't the attitude. Don't call me like that. You no, I did not. You did too. And who am I talking to? Uh, this who is am I talking Roy to? from the YMCA, dummy. Listen. I just said, who is this real quick? Because I was on the floor and my music was playing. When it's on auxiliary, it automatically answers. What? And I didn't have the attitude. So don't you call me with no attitude. Because I will get one now. Why do you have such an obnoxious oh, ringtone? Listen. What'd you say? You have an obnoxious ringtone. Why don't it you just... It's your darn business what kind of ringtone I get. Well, you're the one complaining about it. <laughs> no, don't call me, okay? Don't what? Roy, and I will talk to your supervisor. Oh, you don't whatever. call me with an attitude. Whatever, no, motherfucker. No, whatever, behind. Whatever, motherfucker. Jeez. That was crazy. Uh, I called her a motherfucker just for you guys in the chat room. Everyone was saying, call her a motherfucker. Hello. Hey there, is this Mr. Mulligan? Uh, yes, it is. Uh, hi, this is Roy from the YMCA. I'm just calling about these uh, photos that were. Uh, it looks like your daughters are gonna have their pictures taken out of the college. Uh-huh. And I just yeah. had had some uh, questions. A quick question for you. Okay. Um, could you bring a, a disposable camera with you for us to take the pictures with? Uh, I think so. Yeah, I'll, I'll pass the message on along to my wife. Yeah, we'll see you around. Uh, no, she's at work right now. Ah, oh, damn it. I mean, do you have maybe her number? I could call her at work. She, she's probably more competent. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't have her office phone number, man. She she never has her cell phone on her while she's at work. Balls. Does that ever make you suspicious? Like, she doesn't want you to contact her? Like, maybe she's up to something. <laughs> <laughs> nah, no, you never nah. know. Who is this again? This is Roy from the YMCA. Um, YMCA. Yeah, we just, uh, you know, we're working with this photography company to, uh, you know, take pictures on Saturday. So uh, they just yeah, needed you to take them with a disposable camera. Yeah, and you have to buy it because we're not made of money. You know, we're we're. Well, yeah, I know that, but I thought Barbara Yance was taking the pictures. Yeah, yeah, she is, but you know, she wants you to bring a disposable camera to to, to take the pictures with. Yeah, to take the pictures with, and you can go get them developed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. As much as those pictures cost, she wants to take them with a disposable camera. Well, yeah, that's how how we keep the cost down. How she keeps the cost down. You you know her? Well, um, I, not personally, but you know she's in here all the time, like hawking her her picture scheme. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. So, uh, just yeah, just just because you have two daughters, though, does that doesn't mean you can't just buy one disposable camera. We need two, one for each. All right, sounds good, man. I, I'll buy a third one. That way, I can just for luck. Yeah, yeah. Just in case, you know, you never know. Those things right. they don't work very well. Yeah. All right, all right. Sounds good, man. Okay, and we'll provide the flash, so that's okay. You don't have to worry about that. <laughs> if if it's one of those that doesn't have a flash. <laughs> We'll just try and we'll try yeah. and synchronize it. We'll be like three, two, one, click, and we'll try and flash at the same time. Hey, that sounds awesome, man. Okay. All right, buddy. Thanks um, for your time, man. You you really ought to check up on your wife. You know, like it's it's really weird that she doesn't allow you to communicate with her during the day. Kind of makes you wonder. Oh, does I've she even? A, I got a number. I know how to get a hold of her. Well, why wouldn't you give it to me then? I don't know you. Well, so what? I'm I'm from the YMCA. She signed up. You know, maybe we want to. I don't know you're from the YMCA. Why'd she give us your phone number? Because you don't sound like you know how to do do anything. (laughs) You're a funny dude working for the YMCA, ain't you? I'm not trying to be funny. I'm just, just, I don't know. Seems weird. Yeah. Seems weird. Do what? Uh, What? I'm sorry. Can you repeat that? Uh, What'd you say first? Oh, I wanted to hear you say do what now. No, what'd you say first though? I forget now. It's it's all yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, we'll get those cameras and we'll have them out there, and y'all just be sure to provide the flash. Well, can you stay home? Can you not come? Stay home. Yeah, just don't come. Why is that? I just would prefer, you know, just stay home. You know me personally. Well, no, no, I don't know you personally. I just I, I see you, and I don't. It seems like you have an attitude, and you just kind of bring everyone down. 
You just oh, you walk around with here? you have like resting bitch face. And uh, what? You have resting bitch face and it scares the children. Oh, is that right? Yep. Uh you at the YMCA now? Yeah, yeah, I'm calling just calling everyone on the list, confirming their appointments and telling them to bring a disposable camera. Yeah, I guarantee you said I had the rich and bitch face to my face, you'd have a look funny looking face too. <laughs> You're a big man over the phone, ain't you? Oh, I'm a big man in person. Why don't you come on down, motherfucker? <laughs> yeah. All right, where you at? Come right over. I'm at the front desk at the YMCA. Front desk. Br- bring you your little bitch ass over here. All right. All right, when you coming? Like right now? I'll be there anytime you want me to be. All right. Try not to have a rest, resting bitch face when you get here. Oh, I won't. Don't worry. Hey, uh, do your kids have eye problems by chance because of flesh we're using? It's a thousand lumens. No, my that, kids are fine, man. That, that's something like a billion candle power, so they might want to wear some sunscreen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll, they'll, wear, they'll, they'll, they'll be all right. Don't and, worry about them. And close their eyes during the photo. We don't want them getting cancer. All right. All right, buddy. All right, so you coming over? You yeah, meet, man. Meet I'm me on out. My way. Meet me out by the bike rack. The what? The bike rack. Y'all still have those? Oh yeah. Well, just because you don't ride a bike anymore and you're fat, that doesn't mean the rest of us don't. Oh okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah we'll believe it or not, bikes bike still exist. You fucking retard. Yeah. All right, buddy. All right. Have a nice day. Yeah. You too. Bye. See you soon. <laughs> uh, Jim Bob says that thousand lumens will melt that resting bitch face right off. And I believe it, because he's a scientist. Hello? Hi, Mrs. Tremendalizes. I'm calling... Uh, no, you got to... Well, no, I'm calling from the YMCA. You signed up for some photos for ballet... Yes. I just don't know how to pronounce your dumb last name. It's it's like really long. Is it Trim Moses Liz? Oh man. <laughs> Why did I do that? God, I'm such an idiot. I can't help it. What is this name? Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice. This next one, I want to tell you the girl's first name, but let's like I don't know. Let's let's see if they answer first. Someone's asking if bike racks still exist. Haven't seen one in decade. In a decade. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice. Ma- I think it's actually a. Uh, it's either. Yeah, I think it's a state law. It might just be a city law. But here, every business must have a bike rack. Like you have to have a bike rack outside your business. So they have them everywhere here. Bunch of hippies over here in Oregon, riding their bikes around. Who they think they are. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic... Ah, uh, balls. Okay, let's, let's get the last list out. Hopefully there's no Roy working at the YMCA, because he's going to get his ass kicked if he is. Ah, oh, there's only two numbers left. Oh, her name, the little girl's name in that last one that just didn't answer. Her name is Heaven. That's her name, is Heaven. So you name your daughter Heaven, you're giving her ballet lessons, guess what's going to happen? She's going to be a stripper. Yep, that's what's going to happen guarantee it on the snowplow show in uh the year 2026 we're gonna check up on heaven see what career path she took 10 years from now that's what we're doing hello hello hey there uh, i'm calling from the ymca this is roy i'm calling about your photos that you're gonna get done on saturday your ballet photos um I think you're the wrong person. Oh, you didn't sign up at the YMCA? Nope. I don't do ballet. Oh, well, maybe you should. Maybe then you wouldn't be so fat. Wow. <laughs> you ever think that? You ever think of that? No, I didn't. Yeah, then you wouldn't sit around the house all day watching the blaring TV. Oh, well, I don't really sit much. What, you stand up and watch the TV? Oh, she hung up. <laughs> made a made some random lady feel shitty. Mission accomplished. That's why I'm here. <sighs> Do you guys want to know what this girl's name is? <laughs> let's let's see if they don't answer first. Your call 
has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. All right, no answer on that one. There's only one left. Uh, this one that just didn't answer. The daughter's name is Serenity. Future stripper. Not trying to be mean or anything, but future stripper. <laughs> Why would you name your kid that? Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Well, I had fun, you guys. Being racist. And all that. And uh, um, declaring that little girls are going to become strippers someday based on their names. Which, I'm sorry, it's true. It's not my fault, it's their fault. Don't blame me. Okay, I'm going to play a song and then I'm leaving. So uh, thanks for listening, everyone. Let's see, how how many listeners are there today? There's uh, 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 110 on the YouTubes. And it looks like on the Shoutcast, there is 24. Which is nice, because usually when I do a live show on the Shoutcast... The numbers go way down. Starts out at 20, and then by the end it's 10. Everyone hates the shoutcast. Daniel Garcia wants to hear Butt Plug City by Rappy McRapperson. I think that's a great idea. Everyone loves songs about butt plugs, so I'm going to play it. And uh, thanks for listening. Bye. One day I hopped on a Greyhound bus. Party time, baby. Las Vegas or bust. But I should have gone on a plane. Because my trip was totally insane Oh schnapps, the bus broke down We pulled over in a crazy town I was walking around, it was really shitty How did I get stuck in Butt Plug City? Oh schnapps! I'm walking around in Butt Plug City Oh schnapps! I'm walking around in Butt Plug City I went to a convenience store But the name of it was Butt Plugs Galore And they only sold butt plugs I forgot something, you guys. We have to call the final boss. We have to call the number that I've been spoofing, the YMCA, and uh, pretend to be an angry father. (laughs) I have to. Almost forgot. Photography, this is Beverly. May I help you? Hi. um, I just received a call from this number about my uh, daughter's photography. uh, Yeah. Yeah. We've had several people call with complaints. Somehow somebody has gotten our phone number and are calling with threatening and belligerent calls. Oh, threatening. They didn't so, threaten me. What, uh, what kind of threats were made? Well, just it's just been everything from being having racist calls to using the F word. I mean, it's been, oh, so it's not been threatening. several I things. See. Yeah. So I apologize. Um, I just sent out a big text from me at my my personal phone uh-huh. just to, to everybody just to, that was on the list to make sure that they know that it wasn't from us so barbara's been on the phone with the police oh it's um, not from you okay i thought i yeah. thought it was just no, no like it was maybe, not from us maybe it's from our phone number uh-huh. somehow they've tapped into our phone line or phone number well, but it's not it was not from us we did uh, not make any of those calls maybe one so. of your kids got a hold of your phone and and would just decide well it's a landline that's the weird thing. It's not a cell phone. It's a landline. Oh, so that is what, weird. What, like, who has a landline? What did they and say to you? Why, why would you have a landline in 2016? That's, well, that, it's, a, that it's a business line. Totally and it's weird. a studio line. Well, yeah, but still, you know, wouldn't it be nicer if, you, if your line was mobile and you could take it with you? Yes, so well, could, I guess. Pretty, pretty but, much a stupid, um, stupid, so what, what, what numbered, stupid business decision, if you ask me. Um, yeah, they called from this number. I'm just returning the call. Okay, and um, do you have a child that goes at, at dance? Yes, I named her Heaven. Okay. Yep. And have you gotten and, a, a, a a text from me? Um, that you oh, know I, I haven't looked at my texts yet. It doesn't pop up notifications. I have to go look uh, myself. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Named my daughter Heaven though, and given her ballet, you know, dancing lessons. What could go wrong, right? Right. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Again, that's I the worst apologize. that could happen. <laughs> Uh, I apologize for the call. Uh, you, so. sh- you should be, and you should apologize for this call too, for your, for your attitude and all that. Um, I'm sorry, I don't have an attitude. I'm telling oh, you oh. that it was not us calling. So <laughs> listen, to, listen to that. I don't have an attitude. That's what you sounded like. Wow, are you the person who's been making these calls? No, no, I'm just a father. I just, uh, I have a daughter that goes to ballet. I didn't. I mean, sound. Okay, you, I'm you, looking you, on the list. I don't see a heaven on the list. Oh, there is a heaven on there. Just look at the list. It's on the last page, probably. Okay. No, not Again, that, not that I, I know exactly how many pages there are for some call, reason. But it was not from us, so thank oh, you for no, calling. Oh, no, it looks like she's on page four, actually. 
down on the oh, bottom. Oh, so you have the list you... in front of you? Oh, wait. No, 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 I don't. I don't. I, I misspoke. Uh-huh. That's no. very interesting. May I ask what your name is? Uh, my, I'm, I'm just I'm just a, a, a father. That's all. Just a father. Yeah. Okay. What, well, what's I got to go. Name, though? What's, <laughs> what's your name? <laughs> I got to get going. I, I got things to do. Yeah. I believe uh, you're the one gotta, making these calls. No, no that's not true. I, I got to go yes, mow the lawn. Because you happen to know that the phone number was on the fourth page. Well, yeah, I remember. Uh, I just, you know, four or five pages. That's the, I mean, Roy. not that I know. Is your name Roy by any chance? Uh, 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 no, no, it's not. It's not Roy. I don't know who Roy oh, is. Oh. Okay, I can hear Barbara talking on a cell phone through this phone. Um, hung up. Th- there's no re- reason for that to be happening. Hello? Okay, I don't know what was going on. Why could she hear Barbara? Who's Who the fuck's Barbara? I can hear Barbara talking through your phone? I could hear a lady talking. I don't know who Barbara is, though. But if something weird happened with the phones, that's awesome. <laughs> She's going to think Barbara's in on it. Okay, all right, um, all right, bye for real this time. Yo, it's quality control, D's nuts part two. Getting drunk and recording like you know how we do. And this beat is pretty fresh because B Bear made it. Beefy sampled on this shit, so you know he's gonna hate it. Shining on with a song about pussy and grills. My buddy Rappy's on this track, cause he's got the mad skills. My eight bars are almost over, so it's time for me to go. Now I'll pass it on direction and say, cool story, bro. Yo, I just smelled a pussy fart. It was mushy like lard. Hard like a shark. Hark to the lord of the land. Benjamin Bear is a mother. The fucking man, Rappy McRapperson is his number one fan. They biscuits at night, my triscuits are tight. I get in the fights with home street mimes. Look at my rhymes, you know they shine. Cause I might snap, set you all on fire. Dance around the place with the six six smile. Yes, I might snap. Don't think I won't try. Never said I was a thug, but my tracks don't lie. Cause I might snap, set you all on fire. Dance around the place with the six six smile. Yes, I might snap. Don't think I won't try. Never said I was a thug, but my tracks don't lie. So windy, met this girl named Cindy. Hopped in the Volvo, windows tinty. So minty, my breath, but the windy currents through her dress. Yikes! Real queef bunnies. Saw it on the internet and thought it was funny. But in real life, that shit was crazy. Got me switching lanes in the game like a baby baby. Well, beyond the stratosphere, planet stars in space. Crust 108, oh, has survived a sprinkle in some diamond dust. Chipping rust off that gigantic water dweller metal droid that will awaken lives and taking the city left destroyed. You don't have to make a choice, so many flavors of the fountain drink. Suicide style, fill that cup, take a sip, yo, what you think? Killer rappers on this track, perk your ears up when we rhyme and show to keep your eyes shut when these geeks get to shine. Cause I might stamp, set you all on fire. Dance around the blaze with a six six smile, yes, I might snap. Don't think I won't try, never said I was a thug, but my tracks don't lie, cause I might snap. Set you all on fire, dance around the blaze with a six six smile, yes, I might snap. Don't think I won't try, never said I was a thug, but my tracks don't lie. The other great producers, Mitch Rivers, the fucking tits, the fucking tits, the fucking tits, the fucking tits, tits, tits. Been a cave in rock, way up in Illinois, where the noises echo like your hole. When my boys are exploring the hideaways of long ago pirates, maybe with some coaxing I could get you to try this. No? Okay, baby, steady on, steady on. The song continues on while my shine is long gone. Wrong, bitch, I'm back and I'll never go away. TCP the crackhead pervert, nervous when I play. I stick the meat on my grill. You should give me a dollar bill. I got the TP, y'all better see me. 62% of the people wanna be me. And people tell me that I'm in the house. Until I tell them I will fuck the cow. Shine! I got the large amounts. I'm from outer space like the killer clowns. You need to stop using that word. 